let's learn about the Kolmogorov of Smirnov test. Basic idea of this test is to see whether distributions are different from each other. And for today's example, it is Super Bowl weekend. So let us look at uh, the number of Totino's pizza snacks consumed by San Francisco 49er fans versus Kansas City Chiefs fans. And here in our example, on the x-axis, we got the number of Totino's pizza snacks. And here, let's say we have the number of fans that consume that amount. So what would this graph look like? Let's say San Francisco 49er fans, they're from San Francisco, they're healthy, they're into vegan stuff, so maybe they're on the smaller side of the number of pizza snacks they want to eat. Kansas City, not into that whole veganness, so let's say their distribution looks a bit more like this on the higher end of pizza snacks. So how can we decide whether these two distributions are different from each other? That is where our Kolmogorov Smirnov test comes in, where we look at, let's call it KS test for short. And we're going to look at the cumulative distribution. So cumulative distribution of the pizza snacks. Let's just call it Totino's for short. And cumulative distribution means it goes from zero to 100% of the distribution. And Totino's, I don't know, one pizza snack to, let's say, I don't know, 80. So what does this distribution look like for 49er fans? Well, most of them aren't eating that many. Totinos, so maybe you have a huge hump in the small numbers, and then maybe tapers off for the larger numbers. Vice versa, for the cheese fans, not many are eating small amounts, and maybe there's a huge spike for the big amounts, say, I don't know, they're buying like family packs, for example. So here we have the cumulative distribution of Totino consumption for 49ers versus Kansas City Chiefs. How does this test actually tell you whether the distribution is different or not? So what happens is, in this test, the KS test, it looks at the gap between the cumulative distribution functions. And what it's going to do is take the maximum gap. And based on the maximum gap, go to a reference table and see if that maximum gap is considered statistically different or not. And that is an example of Kolmogorov-Smirnov.